Yo. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Um, welcoming in this adorable new tank top because I needed new clothes because I haven't bought new clothes in a million years. Um, it's not true, but I needed new tank tops. And this got... There it is. Here's the... Here's the big teefers. Yeah. Um, there was a sale at, <laughs> at Camp Powell. Um, I got some things that were going out of stock. Uh, means I didn't get more things because everything was out of stock already. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. I got, I got this and I got another tank top and I got a, a hoodie. So I'll call that good. Um, but hello. Welcome in. Uh, I hope y'all are good on this lovely Thursday evening, back to normal night. Um, yeah, we'll see how ambitious I get tonight, but I had an idea to make a trifle, because I have not made a trifle since many years ago when I made one for the 4th of July. This is early on when I was still like, pretty new to dating my husband. Um, well, hope I've learned some things since then, but I found, I've been watching um, Ruby on Instagram and she's been baking some phenomenal things. She was one of the contestants several years ago on the Great British Bake Off. Um, so I'm taking some inspiration from her. Uh, she did a fudgy chocolate cake with a Marscapone honeycomb frosting. And so I'm taking her recipe and I'm adding some honey to it. I'm gonna do the honeycomb on top. I'm gonna make the trifle. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I started writing down like what order I need to do things in and then I got distracted and stopped writing things down. And I do need to make jam at some point because when you're of course making a trifle, it's just like laying your cake. Everything needs to be cold. Um, so I'm gonna make cake first and make some jam and make some mousse and make some ganache and make some pastry cream and also make dinner at some point so we're excited um it's gonna be tasty i saw another instagram thing randomly that looked super delicious so i'm doing that too um and carrying that through dinner we'll see it'll be good I, i'm confident um and of course, hello, CZ. Thank you for taking some time out of your uh, your help desk <laughs> session to say hello. I appreciate it. Um, hi, Bon. I hope classes are going well. Welcome in, Chalaris. Hope your night is good. Yep. I've got a husband that's coming to invade the kitchen. Cabernet Franc. I'm drinking mm -hmm. the wine that it's I opened. Right. He should just be like... He should. He's... He needs a snack, so he's gonna bug me until there's something to eat. I'll just find a snack. I actually didn't need any lunch. Of course you didn't need any lunch, because I was at the office and you are sometimes incapable of feeding yourself. Uh, I had raspberries and I had an ice cream sandwich. Did you have all the raspberries? Are there raspberries left? You bought a whole new pack of raspberries. I did, but I, I'm gonna need some fresh too. I don't know how much jam you're Well, what about wrong with those? Those are the new ones I bought, but I'm gonna use the no, older ones to make jam. Okay, then I'm gonna use half the old one. Raspberries, that's, and that's fine. Something and else. I also figured out an easy way to stop my camera from flooping around. What did you do? What was that before? <sighs> Cause I was silly and had the heckin' legs of it on the bottom counter. Oh. Now I can bang the counter all I like. Desk bang. Yeah. Counter bang. Um, these are in front of me, so I'm gonna chop them, but. This is supposed to be carrot tops, but we didn't have carrots that came with tops. So I just was like frantically trying to figure out what kind of herbs I had in the refrigerator. I had some um, cilantro that was too far gone to use, so I tossed it in the compost. Um, but I did have some fresh dill and some fresh enough mint. So it went a little brown, but it still smells and tastes lovely. It's just not the light, nicest color. But it's going to give some good flavor. This is just going to be a thing, and I really don't need to be doing this now. Um, hello, Ty. Ty wants a Hoya. Um, getting started. Getting started right over here. I'm going to throw this in, um, 
in something. I'm gonna throw this in the mortar and pestle because I do want to crush that up later with some stuff. That's always a good excuse to use the mortar and pestle. I also have this tank top, top and jacket form. I bought the tank top and the jacket because I'm like, I'm only going to be wearing the jacket for another like couple of months and then I'll be putting away all the hoodies for <laughs> the year um, until it gets cold again, if it gets cold again. Like it's colder here than it usually is or colder here than it has been for the last several years just because we've been getting rain um obviously it's not that cold today because i'm still wearing a tank top yeah it was sunny today it was it was nice out but i'm gonna get going making um some cakes so i can get those in the oven check my oven I don't need the pizza steel in there. I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> so my eggs are in the way. Which is a good point, because I do need to separate some eggs right now while they're still cold. Because I'm making mousse and something else. Yeah, Clay is just eating his box of tomatoes. That's my snack, box of tomatoes. That is cute. Ooh. What you got going on? Can you give me another bowl? Actually, that's fine, actually. <laughs> it is, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a new trick that I want to do that I was reading about. Tricks for making your egg whites fluff up better. You take a paper towel and a little bit of white vinegar. And you wipe the inside of your bowl with white vinegar, which makes sure, one, it makes sure that there's no, like, residue of other things that are going to inhibit your egg whites from getting nice and fluffy and meringue. Um, and then it also kind of acts like adding lemon zest or cream of tartar. It's a little bit of acid, and that also helps the, uh, the egg whites do their thing. So, <coughs> I know he was sassing me, but it is actually the container that I will use. Are you turning the oven on? So I have to turn on the uh, steam? Yes, the oven will be on in a little bit. I guess it got cold enough that he needed green. pants. They're blue eggs. What? They're blue eggs. Seriously, that green There's the white one. It's, it, they're called green. blue eggs. And from? the guy at the farmer's market was like, are you okay with the blue eggs or do you want like white eggs? And no, it's just, it's just the color of the egg that's laid by a specific type of chicken. They are, no, there's literally, I'm not gonna, I can't say, I can't say there's literally nothing different other than the color. But there is functionally nothing different other than the color. Like otherwise it's just an egg. I got them at the farmer's market? Yes, I got them at the farmer's market. <laughs> Blegs, yes. And I've got three more, so I need three egg yolks for pastry cream. I need three egg whites for the mousse. And I need three more egg yolks for something. And I need two eggs for cake. So I have eight eggs. I was gonna turn on the since he's cold, I'll turn on the on the oven. This is a really low baking cake. Although it is made in a loaf pan generally, and I'm gonna make a double recipe and I'm gonna make it in a flatter container because I want it to cook a little faster. Oh hi Fred, welcome in. This is like different music than I usually have. 
And I also remember to install Stream Raiders on this computer so I can actually run it without having to run over to my other computer. The, the actual computer. Um, I do need to drain some garbanzo beans at some point, too. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> too many things. Too many things. Yeah, too many things. I just need to pull up my pull mark, screenshot. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get a different container. And of course, because this recipe is from a person from the UK, everything is weighed, measured by weight, which is fine. And they also use self-rising flour, which I'll need to account for <laughs> because we don't have self-rising flour. What happened? The light, that's two little lights. Now I can't see. How much more do you want? I don't know. <laughs> Time to turn Bonnie into delicious chana masala. I do love some chana masala. Um, what am I doing? I'm, where did those? Did you get those raspberries out? No, you didn't say you wanted them. Why did I make that other jam out of? Why did I make that jam out of? No, it's not smell it. Tasted. Cherries? It was it's cherries. It's already called jambo. Maybe I'll use cherry. What's wrong with that? Just use that. There's nothing wrong with this. Oh. Exactly. I was wondering why you wouldn't just use that instead of making that. So, smart smart update. I'm gonna use this cherry jam that I made like a week ago instead. <laughs> there's, there's hot dog buns and garlic bread. <laughs> I don't know if those are still good. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use this in my layers, but I'm still, still going to use fresh raspberries on the top of the trifle to make it pretty. So, that's, that's easy. <gasps> Ty, Izzy Wolf made that for me. Oh, wait. Hold on. Do you mean the art or like the the background? Because Izzy did the background real quick for me. Yeah, just super quick, and it was super super kind of him. Um, if it's the piece, then that's the one by that was one of my very first ones by my um, the artist who helped me create the Sona. because I'm doing a double recipe, 200 grams of flour. And I really need y'all to remind me to not forget to double like one of the ingredients. Cause I have done that before. When I didn't write something down, I like forgot to double a single one of the ingredients and everything just failed. I like it when I do have side-by-sides of like volumes and weights just so I have an idea of what I'm shooting for for the weight. <laughs> hey, don't forget. Thank you. Okay. 60 grams of ground almonds means 120 grams of ground almonds, so this should be 320. And keep your almond flour in the uh, in the freezer or the refrigerator, because then it won't the oils won't go rancid. Because it's literally just ground up almonds, and almonds have oils in them. All nuts have oils in them. Y'all gonna play Overwatch together? Because I don't have self-rising flour, I need to add some baking powder to this. Do like a good couple of... Good tablespoon. Oily nuts! Okay, I also need 120 grams of cocoa powder. For 
57. And of course, use your hands to measure. So that's nice and easy. This is why you wash your hands and you do things in a certain order. Because if I had done the chocolate first and then used my hands to measure something else, um, that would have been no good. Tato Ebanashi, hello. How many OSHA violations? That's kind of funny, because I was just watching, listening to a podcast where the latest episode is something about OSHA violations, because they're working in a fantasy Papa John's. It's very silly and very hilarious. And hello, welcome in, Tato. Tato? Tato. Tato. Probably Tato. Right? Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Um... But welcome in. Happy Thursday. I hope you're well. Um, please let us know what kind of bender you would be in the Avatar universe. My Fursona Quake is an Earth Bender, but all benders are welcome in the Earth Kingdom. We just want to make sure you get to the best possible dojo for training. And I owe Tiger a bunch of uh, exercises. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save those because I wanna get this cake in the oven. <laughs> I was gonna do it. And I'm like, no, let's 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 get this. Let's get this going. <laughs> but I won't forget. And I have nothing exciting to take a picture of yet. But I'll get there. I'll get there. I mean, I get more OSHA violations when detectors in the fr in the kitchen with me trying to cook and being rambunctious. I haven't had a pup in the kitchen for a while, so I've been cleaner. I don't know. Oh, lies. He thinks that I make OSHA violations when I don't follow the recipe to the letter. But also when I don't follow the recipe to the letter, I make something delicious and then I can't tell Fred what the recipe is for the barbecue sauce. He's like, I want to do that thing again. And I'm like, I don't know what I did. I just threw stuff in a pot. <laughs> you could go back to the video. The video's there. Everything is on record. <laughs> no, you're not a pup, but I also have had several pups in the kitchen with me before. And I have I just haven't had a kitchen visitor in a while. Other than my husband. And he doesn't usually help. He just swings by for snacks. I am so far behind if I was like on a cooking show. Okay. Oh, this uses oil. Okay. A oh, milliliters? Uh, I have to measure in milliliters. That's fine, that's fine. We bought some olive oil, and honestly, that'd be fine. Oh, it's only 100 mils, though, and I poured pretty much exactly the right amount. Okay. I am making cake. If you type uh, exclamation point menu, you'll see what we're making today. Oh, I didn't change the actual menu. Oh, I'm a terrible, terrible streamer. Bad streamer, bad streamer. Um, I gotta fix that, because that's very uh, confusing, I'm sure. Hold on, hold on. Menu, properties. I'm not making those things again. Um, what am I making? Um, Harissa Lamb. Harissa and Honey. Carrots, chocolate, trifle with honey. Go. There we go. Okay, everything is, everything is good, except for the oil that was on my finger that is now on my keyboard. 
That's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're good. Yeah, I did change the command. I just hadn't changed the menu on the screen. Okay, but we're good. We're good. Okay. Pinch of salt now means two pinches of salt. Which is X amount of salt because... Generally, <laughs> as long as you put in a reasonable amount, you're going to be good. I don't know why I turned on the scale as I was cracking in eggs and things, because those are not measured ingredients. I'm going to put in my vanilla bean again, because the only other thing I have to measure is my yogurt. on a higher shelf so I couldn't find it. You can throw away the trash for me. The trash that I'm generating. Thank you. Okay. I can turn this on to measure my yogurt in. And of course the really lovely thing for this honey themed kind of journey we're going on. Which I've done before. I've done a honey themed day before but it was completely different stuff. Um, we get this honey that, or this yogurt that's Greek yogurt that has honey already in it. So it has a lovely flavor, a little bit of sweetness, and it's just lovely. And I need 300 grams, which is a lot. Yeah, I'm making a double recipe. Oh, okay. That was too much. Uh, you can put away the vinegar and the um, and the oil. Trying to pull out stuff from the top. Okay, we're good. Close enough. It's not like I'm baking or anything. He says as he's baking. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm gonna put my scale away and not try to drop it. Okay. Hello, Nazard. Yes. I really like yogurt. And it's interesting that the yogurt is like pretty much all of the liquid in the cake, other than the eggs. Usually it's like milk or water or you have butter. It's just, it's, I guess the oil. There's oil and there's yogurt. Zazzard. Zazzard getting zazzed apparently. Oh right, and there's also hot water in this. That's, I almost forgot that. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> okay, good thing I have a whole hot water dispenser. Okay. So I'm gonna stream hot water in here while I'm whisking so I don't curdle my eggs. 
because I want to just bring them up to temperature, but I do want them to get warm. Ooh, and that just makes the vanilla smell really nice. Okay. Now I can add my dries. Which I would normally do the other way because uh, I went into dry. But my bowls were switched up. So I didn't. What are you gonna do? You're gonna make do. And honestly, at the end of the day, I'm just pouring some stuff into some other stuff and making a batter, and it's gonna be fine. So normally this would cook in a loaf pan to make like a lovely loaf cake. But since I'm using this as a, um, I was gonna add some honey into this too. Just to carry the flavor. That's some lovely dark amber honey. Um, I should have added that to the hot water so it would have dissolved really nicely, but too late for that. Anyway. Uh, because I'm using this to make the trifle, this is going to be real fudgy. This is really intense. Not a whole lot of sugar in here. Wait, did I add any sugar? You know what? I didn't. <laughs> I need to add some sugar to this is what I need to do. I'm like, why is this not sweet at all? Because I didn't put any sugar in. <laughs> Good thing I caught that before I cooked it. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay. Good. Fuck. <laughs> My scale still works. No, I dropped the scale. What? <laughs> it's fine. It still works. It's still good. It's still good. Um, I know, right? <laughs> Imagine not putting sugar in something. It's not dented. Oh my goodness. I'm just missing literally two cups of sugar. <laughs> And it might not, well, it would have been a disaster because it does need sugar in the mix to bake properly. But it still would have tasted okay because there was enough sugar in the yogurt. So I'm not going to do the full 440 grams. That'll be good. I should make Nazar mod. <laughs> I got distracted in between figuring out which ingredients were wet ingredients and which ingredients were dry ingredients. And then I'm like, this is, does not taste the sweet in the slightest. Okay. There we go. There we go. 400. No, 440 grams. My goodness. My goodness. Anyway. Now if I taste it. I get to taste... Raw eggs and flour and sugar. Okay. I'm going to put it into two different tin tins. I've been reading British recipes. So, tin. We're using tins, even though they are quite clearly glass Pyrex. And I'm using square ones because I want ease of cutting them up.
and I don't need a heck ton of stuff. I'm just gonna put like one strip down the middle. It's not gonna be the whole thing, but maybe it will be. Yeah, good enough. So you spray your pan a little bit so that your parchment sticks. And then you realize that you're out of your cooking spray. There we go. And then you spray the top also. I've got another thing of cooking spray, but it's coconut. And then I'll just help you lift your, um, your cake nice and easy out of here. And then you divide it relatively evenly between the two. This is a lovely batter. And then you remember that you forgot to see how much time it's supposed to take to bake. But it is spread out a little bit thinner than it would be. Mallow, hello. No, it does not need 420 minutes. Yes, silly. Okay. Mallow, thankfully, uh, Tiger came in earlier and redeemed some exercises. So I'll do some exercises and then I'll flex for you and it'll be all nice and pumped up for you. But I was waiting until I got these cakes in the oven. Okay. Cakes in the oven. Now I owe Tiger some sit up push ups and squats. I don't know why I bothered washing my hands because I need to, uh... do I not have alerts on? Oh my goodness. CZ, thank you so much for that sub. To gift to Mallow. I feel like you did it just because it distracted me from how many squats I was doing. I'm pretty sure that was more than 10. Um. No alerts. Oh, because I, because I put it on the lappy cam. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make sure you wash your hands real good. Mallow, I'm excited to work out with you in July. I'm gonna make you lift things. Maybe one of those things is me. Wash your hands real good after you do your kitchen push-ups. <laughs> I need to roast some carrots. Got some lovely carrots. And I'm just gonna roast them. Uh, most, uh, I'm not gonna use the huge ones. do those and then these ones are huge never wash your hand no even Remy washed his hands um, I think I'm gonna peel these you don't have to peel them but because I want them to roast all the way through at the same time, and I don't want I want I want them to like present in a in I don't want to cut them. 
for presentation's sake. I should think about the words that I want to say before I start talking. Um, for presentation's sake, I want to keep them whole. And if I try to roast them all together when they're massively different sizes, then they won't, like, cook all the way through. So, because of presentation, I'm just going to use the ones that are relatively the same size. Rod, hello. Rod the mega cute shark him themselves. How was your day? Did you have a nice relaxing day today? I think you took the day off. Um, they're from Trader Joe's. But yeah, it's the rainbow carrot mix. Although, we did get some other rainbow carrots from um, Costco just the other day. So I guess they're selling them all over the place now. <laughs> I know, right? Rod's like, oh no, I was kidnapped. How terrible. I think I was saying that even rats, even Remy the rat washed his hands. So I won't accept the fact that Mallow doesn't wash his hands. I'm going to go back to your cooking stream, Mallow, and figure out every time you washed your hands. And if it was zero, it didn't matter, because you weren't eating that food anyway. Because <laughs> it was so cursed. Um, okay. There. Carrots peeled. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil and um salt and cinnamon on these carrots and get them roasting and they can share they can share a uh, an oven with the cake they're gonna need to, i'm gonna need to crank i should set a timer for the cake shouldn't i i am so notorious if i'm notorious for anything it's uh forgetting to set a timer when i put things in the oven garam masala. I feel like I should use the garam masala. Just because I have such a little amount left. So you know what? Instead of cinnamon, I'm using garam masala. Which is fine. And I'll use some of that on the lamb, too. It's all good flavor. They're all going to work together. They're all going to play fine. Play nice. Learning and tennis stuff for an art project for a friend. Oh, that's awesome. I did a little bit of sketching today. I'm very, like, proud of myself for doing that much. I got to finish it by this weekend. Um, I also started watching a, um, a, like, introductory course for CSP that was on LinkedIn. So, yeah, and I found out I, I found out something that I already knew that I was I, something I suspected I knew, but mostly like my like the first problem, I didn't create a canvas that had a, enough pixels in it to make it look nice. So the reason that emote I made for clay looks so pixelated is because I made too small of a drawing in the first place, too small of a canvas. So I just need to go for like a um, like a 2,000 by 2,000 canvas, because if I don't have a big enough canvas, I don't have enough pixels to work with, and it's going to look pixelated. Um, yeah. Um, um, hi. Hi, hi. Well, I hope you had a lovely day off, Rod, and you're going to enjoy the rest of your... Do you have four more days? Do you have Monday off as well? I got to work tomorrow, but then I have a three-day weekend, which is lovely. I'm gonna 
start the stream raiders. There we go. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I love that. A lovely little staycation. Get yourself a lovely rest and recharge. Five days off. Wait. One, two. Yeah, five days. Five days. Five days. I can count. Uh, I'm going to drain my garbanzos. Then I think I'm going to start working on cake stuff, because I don't think the lamb's going to take that much. Although I should get the lamb, like, marinating. That's the thing I should do after I get my chickpeas drying. Draining. Draining. Mallow, should I keep the liquid to use for making aquafaba? I, I could keep the aquafaba. I can drain it into a clean container and then keep it. Yeah, exactly. Which I did once. It's amazing how the liquid does not taste like chickpeas when you make meringue out of it. Because it really could, because it's, it's fragrant. It smells nice. It smells like chickpeas, which I like the smell. But, right? You wouldn't think, but yeah. And what's amazing is, did you see the show Baketopia on, um, on HBO, it was Rosanna Pensino did a little cooking show, like 10 episodes or something, and one of the episodes they had to do vegan macarons, and the person who won was actually a person who we buy cakes from. He's He runs a bakery just up the hill from us, like 40 minutes away or something. Um, and he didn't... The other two contestants used aquafaba. He used the liquid off of kidney beans. So I guess aqua kidney or whatever. Um, and it worked just the same. So I guess you could drain any bean juice, right? So Rod, try using like kidney bean juice or black bean juice or uh, I think like maybe like cannellini beans wouldn't have such a like natural aroma so cannellinis yeah and you don't want salted although you can just forego salt in your mixture afterwards but yeah you prefer you i do prefer to add my own salt which is why i don't use salted butter for many things which is funny because clay's sister makes cookies and she always uses salted butter but that's because her recipe is just like set up to use salted butter she doesn't add salt so, as long as you're accounting for it, it should be good. Um, I should make some meringue. So, I'm making chocolate mousse, and traditional chocolate mousse is raw eggs, and I'm not gonna do raw eggs. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my egg whites foamed up and use some sugar syrup to cook these. Um, I took pictures of recipes. If I could find them. Oh, there they are. Okay. As long as I have the right ones. Okay, that one's the pastry cream. This one is the mousse. Okay, okay. So I'm going to use... Three tablespoons of sugar. So I just need to heat up a little. I need get, I'm going to get this on the, on the whisk. I'm going to find a whisk. Okay, 
I do this so my lamb can start marinating before I start fussing with other stuff. That knife doesn't really have a point. Okay. Using lamb today. I make a little mix, so I want my flavors on my lamb and on my carrots to be complementary. So what I'm going to do is use some harissa paste in both of them. Start off with some harissa. I'm gonna use that garam masala because I was already using it in the carrots. And I don't want to use all of it. And some salt. And maybe some garlic. I feel like I should use some garlic. And just mix this up and that'll be my little rub for my lamb and I can just set that aside although I'm thinking about it and I always have such a hard time cooking it for long enough hmm. I'm just debating whether or not I should cut it into sets of two chops already I think that's what I want to do I'm gonna try it this way this time just because I want to try it because I kind of end up having to do this anyway mostly because I'm impatient and I don't like I get hungry and I'm like I want this to be out of the oven and done and in my mouth uh, and then I'm like I need to cut it into sets of two chops and then cook it a little bit on the edges and so if I just approach it that way in the beginning then I won't feel bad about it I'm gonna get it all covered in goop Also, Mallow, I would help you with a cooking stream during Ratchacon, if that's a thing. That sounds like a fun thing we could do. If there's not a, like, completely full schedule already. It doesn't even have to be cursed. It could be a regular one. We could do the gay brunch, as they say. Although I don't have a chef's coat, so would I need to acquire one? I know you and Aeon were like all fancy and had professional cooking jobs at some point in your lives and have chef coats. I guess I could just get like a pup hood instead and be like Detra. Although, I can't, like, back up anything else <laughs> related to puppery. So, maybe not. I don't want to be a poser. Poser pup? Maybe that's my pup name. Pup poser. No. Okay. So 
Mostly I'm just trying to find an excuse to cook in Mallow's kitchen because it's so much bigger than mine. Okay. I just need three tablespoons of sugar. Which is just under a quarter cup, which is just a little bit less than a third of a cup, so... Yeah, that's, that's good enough. An equal amount of water. And it's a very small amount. It's going to come to temp very quickly. going Italian meringue with this. Okay. That's just going to sit in the toaster oven. It's not cooking. I just needed a space for it. Okay. Now I just gotta figure out the next step. Oh, cake's only half done. Probably oh, 15 minutes. Okay. So I can start getting the pastry cream together. Because that also needs to cool down before I can use it. And I did not read my recipe. Recipe it needs a whole extra egg. That's fine. I knew I would need eggs, so I made sure to buy eggs. Half cup of sugar, two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm also going to sub some of this sugar out for honey because I'm trying to make like honey go through many things that I am doing today. And I'm also just trying to use up some uh, bits and pieces of honey that I had laying around. So we're seeing how I can do that. And I don't care about the color because I'm putting a bunch of chocolate in it anyway. So... I'm not going to see the dark amber honey color. Okay. When the sugar needs to come up to like 200 degrees, 230 or something, it's going to be pretty fast. I'm going to get my cornstarch in here, which I found the other day and then I lost again. Where did I lose my cornstarch? Somewhere in here. Oh, there it is.
Okay. Are you a fan of... Oh. I was just at, about to ask Bon if he was a fan of honey. And then I realized it's in his name. But what's in his kiss? Is it in his arms? Oh no, a make believe. Is it in his arms? Oh no, he'll be deceived. If you wanna know if he loves you so, it's in his kiss. That's where it is. Oh yeah, it's in his kiss. That's where it is. do my trick and just stream this into my sugar or my meringues over here. And just like that, I have uh, cooked egg whites for my mousse. The last of the favorite cooking show. What show is it? I'm glad you came to see me afterwards. And I'm just joking, I know what you mean. Because I've got like a lot of time left to go on this thing. I feel like I've barely started, Turby. Also, hello, Turby. How are you doing? Just getting my meringue all done. So I can start focusing. Oh, I need that pot back. Because I need to start focusing on my pastry cream. Just going to pour a cup of milk. I'm using a little cream just for fun. Because who doesn't love cream? Pink Princess Philodendron? Ooh! Are you going to bring us one? You shouldn't bring us one because I will probably kill it. I'm going to put some vanilla in here too. my lovely meringue over here. Now it's just gonna chill out until I'm ready to fold it into my mousse. Perfect. That's gonna be heckin' fun. As long as it's just not the same weekend as RetroCon, which is like mid, end of July. July 21st? So just not that weekend. Um, 
Salt. Let's put some salt in here. No, I should put some salt in there. It doesn't matter where I put the salt. As long as it's in there. Because you need salt not to make things salty, but to make them flavorful. Um, I should also cut up some chocolate. And by cut up chocolate, I mean like eat some chocolate chips. The chocolate chips are conveniently already cut up chocolate for me. Oh no, I put too much in here. There we go. So I'm heating up this milk so I can temper my eggs. I'm getting everything else ready. My cakes have another six-ish minutes. I think I'm sitting pretty. I know, right? <laughs> We're gonna be in Seattle for like three or four days, I wanna say. Oh, that reminds me, I got all good flights because there was a thing from Southwest for flights today for $49. So we'll see if we can get some cheap flights. I put my sugar in here. I need two tablespoons of cocoa powder as well. Everything is just gonna be super chocolatey today and I am here for it. So I'm making a chocolate trifle, which is gonna have chocolate cake, chocolate pastry cream, chocolate mousse, chocolate ganache, and then layers of raspberry and cherry jam, or cherry jam because I have cherry jam, and then fresh raspberries and honeycomb on top. Oh, I gotta make honeycomb at some point too. How does one make honeycomb? We'll find out after I get the, the um, pastry cream in the refrigerator. Everything's gonna be cold, 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 cold for making a trifle. Because otherwise it would just be a big sloppy mess. It's funny because it's not even Seattle. It's like an hour north of Seattle or something. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I'm driving somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Flying somewhere and then driving. Now that I think about it, maybe we should like extend the trip to be like... Maybe we should go up a few days early so we can go see our friends in Portland. We haven't seen them in years. It's who Clay plays Valheim with all the time. Okay. So this is warm. Who? Who's... What? Who is this person who's renting a place and having his own car? It's gonna 
gonna temper my eggs over here. So no one wants a curdled pastry cream. It's easy to plant people. Derby, where did you come up with your, if you're comfortable sharing, how did you come up with your um, your screen name? I was just thinking about the other day. Well, I was just thinking about that now, too. Because um, mine was because I was playing World of Warcraft with a, uh, with a good friend who was a geology major in college. And so, of course, she had a geology-themed name for her character. It was named Fractured. And then I named mine Quake after that. And then it's just kind of stuck with me ever since. Okay. I'm gonna use that again. Get this back on the heat on low because that will thicken faster than I want it to if I have it any higher. Uh, those are still raw. <laughs> I think they needed like 50 minutes but I wasn't sure. Turn up the heat and keep whisking. Good thing I didn't work out arms today. Wasabi, hello. Wasabi, we ate all the tampano. You didn't come help us eat it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. The random name that you got when you played Skyrim. I bet I put in the name Quake when I played Skyrim. This can turn up a bit. I do have cornstarch in here, so I'm a little bit safer than if it was just egg yolks alone. Because the cornstarch needs to come up to boiling so it can uh, thicken. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna drain off my um, I'm gonna put my chickpeas into another container. You know what? I'm just gonna throw my chickpeas in with my carrots right now so I can use my strainer again. Because I want these to roast along with my carrots. strainer. It's fine. We just had to eat all that delicious pasta by ourselves. Okay. 
Catchy Wa. Hello, Catchy. How you doing? And Ty wants another. It's my butt. The gunshot. Yes, I'm also here for the gunshot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm over here babying some pastry cream. Oh, do you need the help? Can you just put that in a container and label it? This? Yes. And what is it? Aquafaba. That reminds me of bean crab. Yes. Mallow's gonna put in a redeem that I have to make something with the aquafaba. Oh, nice. Which I have just determined. But he encouraged me to save it, so. Can I put this bowl in the sink? What? Can I just put this in the sink? What? In the sink. Oh, yes. Why don't you just make a, a thing you make have all the. Yeah, I could. Or angel food cake. That is also an idea. I don't think that's going to be enough for angel food cake. Can. Kiss you, son. Alright, there we go. One container. Entertain them. Uh, I'm over here stirring. Do a dance. Uh, I can eat more tomatoes. Eating all the tomatoes. Um, bum, bum, bum. What else is going on? What's in the news today? Uh, it's okay. Uh, um, I find it awfully convenient timing for all those supposedly classified documents. <laughs> What? Uh, <laughs> it seems such convenient timing. I bet they're planted. Uh, um, what did I do today? The cat sat on my lap all day today. And then I got to go outside because it finally wasn't raining. And the kitties got to see... Hugo got to see his great, 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 great grandkids. Or three greats? I don't know. They got one of our cats from our backyard. And now there's another cat in the backyard that looks exactly like our cat. It's been what? How old is he though? Five? He's like almost six. Almost six? Yeah. It's gotta be one of his related cousins. I guess it would be. I mean, it doesn't have to be either. anything, but. It looks exactly like him. It's from the same area. He's, it's another black cat. And we've had a constant stream of cats in our respective for years. Play, click the link. What is the link? Oh, do I need to approve the link? Are you trying? No. He's, it's approved because he's a mod, but he's probably trying to get us to play hot butter. A surprisingly good tomatoes for um, winter Kay. tomatoes. Here's my lovely pastry cream. That smells good. Does that need to go in the fridge? Looks a lot. It is hot. It's not done. It's squirting the nacho. Okay. I gotta add my chocolate, the rest of my chocolate. I and can you go get me, get me a spoon, uh, two tablespoons of that butter over there? Um, butter? I don't even know if it's cuttable, it's so soft. Or it's a knife, so I can put it Let's use a butter knife. So this is plenty hot to melt my chocolate. I'm just gonna keep stirring it. You said two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. Is that two pads? Do you want them in it's a quarter. separate pads? No, it doesn't matter. Play jammers. Do you want this in here? Yes. Just one big lump? Yeah, it's fine. Ah! <laughs> he says that he drops it. It's fine. It's just a little on the counter. I think you got it all. Cause... That's fine. Oh, it looks like better off this wrapper. Wrapper better. Say hello. Okay. Here for the content and the gun show. Yeah, the guns are gonna be good. I'm just whisking so much today. Do you want to taste those? Um, I'm. Mm, I suppose. I'm one leg and turn down taste. How many spoons are even dirty here? Two. It's just chocolate Wait. pastry cream. Oh, well, then, if it tastes fine, I don't need to taste it. I need more than that, though. We can't you need more than this? We can't justify that spoon for such a tiny taste. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he's like, I don't need to taste it. Mm, that's pretty good. And he's like, that's not enough for me to taste. When he's get you a box of tasting spoons. No. Like, four-arm workout whisking? 
Whiskey. It's true. Whiskey. Whiskey. There we go. Okay. This is a humongous. Uh, it is a humongous pomegranate. I thought about using that uh, on the top instead of. Um, I present you a pomegranate. It's like a softball sized pomegranate. I thought about using those instead of the fresh raspberries. Do you need anything else? Ba, 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 ba. I need a plan because I'm not sure where I am now in my plan. <laughs> That's step five out of five hundred. I don't know. I need to finish my moose. The moose now is just. I need three more egg yolks. I don't know. You know what? I'm not doing that. They're like, it's not going to be as fluffy if you don't do it this way. But I don't care because it's going in a trifle. So. Gonna get smushed. So instead. I'm really just going to make an osh. And then put my egg whites in it. Because I cooked my egg whites. This is a microwave safe dish. So. Link? Or is it a different link? Clay went away. He's body it. again. Those look pretty good. They're not 100% done, but they're like, they're not gooey, they're now fudgy, which is kind of where I want it. So I can pull those, because they're still going to cook a little bit more. They will dry out a little bit more as they sit. did do that to myself. <laughs> Clay, you're gonna find out what those lengths are? The mysterious Fred links? They're probably both Granny's hot butter ice cream. <laughs> yes. Why is ganache so good? Just to, I could just drink that bowl. I did not put it in a large enough bowl. Cause now I'm just. Uh, you know what? I do need a bigger bowl. Second is something else, perhaps. So in theory, I would whisk egg yolks into this to get it nice and fluffy with the egg yolks to make a proper chocolate mousse, but I really can't be bothered. 
to separate more eggs. So I'm not gonna do that. I do have these other three eggs over here, but since I have nothing to do with like the rest of the whites if I do that, I'm just gonna do it this way and it's gonna be fine. So this egg will just cool down my chocolate. gonna keep I'm gonna get gentler as I put more into it kitty cam bring forth the monster clay we need help Bring in the gremlin. What camera are you on? Hi. Blue. It's a little blue phone. The other guy came over with you. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Did you miss? No. Oh, no, he got him. He got the other cat, too. Almost took off Clay's arm, I hear, when I surprised him. Okay, things are cooling. I should get these out of the pan so they can also cool. Things are moving and grooving. Okay, it's gonna. Convenient like tester pieces. Here's our lovely cakes. I feel like I should also get these into the like freezer. <laughs> Is there room in the outdoor freezer for cakes?
there's room in here. I got it already, I'm done. Cakes in the freezer. I'm imagining with just the top stuff, we get down to the bottom floor. Uh, it's all dirty over here. Yeah, that's why I'm cleaning the counter. Um, should I order some dinner or are you making dinner? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what you can do for me is you can get out the the um, the feta, the feta, okay. and the yogurt. Again, the honey yogurt. Yes. Oh, that's actually tzatziki. Yes. Yeah, we got a whole heckin' freaking 22 ounce soda cup full of blue cheese dressing. Mountain Mike's, when you order a pizza, does not skimp on dressing. Because they gave us the full soda cup full of dressing, plus another half a soda cup full of dressing. It was so much. And then they used the soda cups for all the other toppings, like the croutons and the bacon bits and, the, and something else. It was quite a way to do business. It worked very well. I'm not complaining at all. It was kind of wild, but it was it was very it accomplished what it was trying to do. Now, what am I trying to do? I need to get lamb on so we actually have food for dinner. I probably don't need this huge one. It's my cast iron. Okay. Clay asked me if, what my, if I'm making dinner. Does the stream title not say Thursday night dinner and dessert? Because I've got my lovely Harissa lamb chops over here. Arcade, hello. Welcome in. Happy Thursday. What are you wowing at? My lamb chops? Or am I sassing you for thinking there wasn't gonna be lamb chops? It's funny that this is technically recyclable plastic, but it's covered in oil, so you can't recycle it. So, that's fun. Hi, Arcade, how's your night? We're cruising right along, making all sorts of fun stuff. Oh, I still need to make, I need to make honeycomb. Honeycomb, 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 or else my trifle is gonna be so boring and undecorated. How does one make honeycomb? I'm pretty sure it's fast-ish. Because you pretty much just put some stuff in a pot. Although I do need a bigger, I do need a bigger pot. Because it does foam up. So I need a hundred, I'm not, I don't need a double recipe of this. So. I do need my scale again. Right? My trifle would be trifling if I didn't have my decorations. I'll go back to Gramps. Cast 
cats are just running around wild today. Good thing my husband did some dishes while I was at work because I have filled the sink up again already. Okay, I also need 50 grams of golden syrup, which I don't have. But luckily it's just stabilized sugar, so I'm just going to use honey instead. You could also use maple syrup, agave, pretty much any sort of thing. Should get a spatula to get this out. Okay, so I managed to use up one container of uh, honey. And I only need a teaspoon of bicarbonate. 140 degrees. Celsius. Amazon. What's 140 degrees in Fahrenheit? It's like 290? 284. Okay. Stirring. Stirring? What the heckies? What are you doing? Six. Stirring? That is too much. Stirring. Oh my goodness. 6737. I apparently don't have alert. I don't even have a bit alert because I don't expect it to happen. What is stirring? Oh my goodness. You are too good and generous to me. You are a super sweet bean. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, stirring. How are you? I hope you're well. Stirring gives amazing in-person hugs. We love stirring. We love the cuddles and the hugging and the uppies and everything. Um, yeah. Highly recommend. Highly recommend having stirring in your life. <laughs> Susie, thank you. Thank you. It is much less than stirring deserves. Stirring deserves the world. But hello, welcome in. I am currently trying to make honeycomb. And I'm also making lamb chops. <laughs> but it's hot over here. So if I'm slightly distracted, that's why. Hi, I'm back. Yes, yes it is. Things are happening. Things are going. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. That's bubbling. You want the bubble? I want the sugar to be at 140 degrees. Didn't turn the thing up enough.
Everything's fine. Nothing ha nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> Except for honeycomb. <laughs> Or did you didn't use the small pan for that. No, I, in case it bubbled up over the small pan, I had to use not the small pan. Hmm. Disaster averted. Can you flip the, the things? Oh, I guess. Arcade, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, a hype train. Gifting us up to TSD and Robo and D Sunny and Fred and okay. Flex? Oh These my are, goodness. These are getting burnt. I suppose you just flip them. It's fine. It's fine! Okay. I'm running around and I can't respond properly, but Arcade, you're a wild person. I think you're... Ah. Thank you, friends. Thank you, Chad. I know how to fix this. <laughs> Fred! Oh, no! Featherfall, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. The timing. <laughs> oh my goodness, how was the After Dark stream? How are you guys? I'm trying to do things and we just had a smoke alarm briefly go off. Um, trying to make some honeycomb over here. It needs to set, but you can't put it in the fridge, because apparently if you put it in the fridge, it gets goopy. What? What happened? When did they get to level five? <laughs> what? What is happening? Yo, I'm just trying to cook some stuff over here. I'm not even looking at the screen and y'all are just going wild in here. Oh my goodness. That's a different color than I thought it would be. Does it turn more yellow? No, because there's the honey in it. Oh. One gold is supportive? Yes, thank you for the sh Who all is doing stuff in here? How did level five go so fast? There was only it, 10 subs. What aren't you pointing at? Catchy, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> ah! Do I need to put these in the oven? They're gonna go in the oven, so they just yes, put them in the oven. Put them in the oven. Put them in the. Oven. I'm just trying to catch up. Oh my goodness. What's happening? Thank you. Beans and so they're they're good. Carrots. They're fine. They're fine. Okay. I'm just gonna try and eat my sticky, sticky candy. Welcome in, Lola. It's good to see you. I guess. This is just going to sit. And I can turn that down for a minute so I can actually hear and talk and things. Oh, yes. This is my new, my new tank top, Lola. It is super cute. You know what? I don't have time for it. I just don't want you to forget about it. What cheesecake? There's no cheesecake? OCZ's cheesecake. Yes. Perfect. We love it. We love it. And Keshi, thank you for the piss. Oh my goodness, this is wild. Y'all are great. Lola, good to see you outside of Featherfall. Um, if you don't mind saying... Please let us know what kind of bender you would be in the Avatar universe. My persona is an earthbender. Here he is powering up his earth moves. Um, but of course, all benders are welcome in the Earth Kingdom. We just got to make sure you get to the right dojo for training. Oh my goodness. Y'all are great. I love you. I'm still trying to put together the rest of dinner. I am so... What's going on? Okay, I need to put some oil in that pan, in that pot. 
I need to figure out where I put the pestle. Yes, generally the benders are the four cardinal elements, but of course there's also like fun things that people create and put in. And... So I don't like to limit it to just the four. Are they called? I say cardinal elements like they're the cardinal directions, but that's just a convenient thing because there's four of them. But that's where I can put the rest of my garam masala. In here. Perfect. But yes, absolutely, there is fire. This is just some herbs. I would have used the carrot tops if I'd had carrot tops. Um, because the recipe is like, don't waste your carrot tops and you can make a lovely, like, kind of pesto kind of thing out of them. It's like between a pesto and a chimichurri. There's just a lovely sauce for your, for your roasted carrots and chickpeas. Oh, it's supposed to be acidic, so I should put some, like, lime juice in here. You just got your Avatar Legends books today? Oh, that's awesome. Well, we've been, well, for obvious reasons, we've been looking at alternate, uh, like, options for RPGs. And I was just looking at Avatar Legends today, and it looks like Monster of the Week is just set in the Avatar universe. It's got, like, the, the, um, the five stats that go from negative three to positive three, and it looked interesting. So yeah, I hope that works out really well for you. <laughs> Y'all are wild. That was apparently an all-time record. I don't know where all that came from. <laughs> but thank you so much. Y'all are sweeties. I really appreciate it. I'm not here to like... I'm not here as a job. Um, so I just, I really appreciate that you are enjoying the content and... I am glad to make it for you. I hope you enjoy seeing me. I've been whisking all day and now I am uh, using my mortar and pestle or as Detector was saying, the morcajete. Which is that just, is that just the same as a mortar and pestle? It's just the, like the Mexican word for it. Mexican, Spanish. I'm not completely clear on the origins. This is, oddly enough, one of the few, like, kitchen implements that was from my husband rather than me. He had this before we moved in together. Okay. Got our lovely herby sauce. I didn't put any nuts in here or cheese, so it's not got like that kind of pesto quality. So I would say it's probably closer to a chimichurri, but still delicious. It's just supposed to be like a nice little bright acidic topper, topper to our to our dinner to our dinner side dish. Probably like a cow. ASL sign for medicine is based off more. Oh, it, like medicine. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm also making a little sauce base for our carrots, kind of Moroccan style. And just crumble up some feta. This feta is so good. And I normally wouldn't use it, but I'm gonna use, because we're doing honey kind of through everything today. 
we're gonna use this same honey yogurt to just kind of loosen up the sauce. Make it nice and creamy. No measurements, just kind of get it to a sauce kind of consistency. And that's all that is. I keep, I, I have intentions to learn sign language. Yeah, Bulgarian feta. Did I say, what did I say? Did I say what kind of feta it was? Because it's lovely. It is delicious. Um, middle finger down on right hand, touching open palm of left. So, meh? Yeah. Does, oh, Moroccan style, did, okay, so that, okay. Um, does having a messed up like little finger on my right on my left hand would that impede me a lot in doing sign language? <laughs> Cause that's a that's a challenge. When I was still on TikTok, I was watching TikToks about a woman who was teaching people sign language. But then I got off TikTok. I wish I just mixed this in this bowl. And I still owe Tiger a photo, but I'm gonna take a photo of this completed dish because I think it'll look nice. I hope it looks nice. You're so much better at it than I am. But just for you, Bob. Oh, yeah. And there, there you go. Okay. I'm going to pull. <laughs> I have lost my oven mitt. It is somewhere. I'll use my new one. Lovely. My lovely roasted chickpeas and carrots. So I'm gonna add to this. Oh, I get to use more honey. And I get to use every spoon in the house. I'm going to add a lovely spoon of honey. And a spoonful of harissa. And hello, Kasky. How you doing? I'm finishing up the dressing. I guess. Hot dog, she doesn't know. What? Ooh, I'm, this, delicious place. this is the honey harissa carrots and chickpeas. Like you're making the steel side. It's like it's still Yeah, you definitely could like make this mix it up table side. I make it. <laughs> right? It is good to behold clay. Okay, so that is all lovely and mixed up and might need a little bit of salt, but that's all right. I should get the, um, probably gonna put them in my mouth because it's probably very hot. But this goes right down on top of the feta, the feta yogurt mixture. We'll try to 
alternate some colors. Got our lovely rainbow carrots. <laughs> no. Lovely like crispy chickpeas. I should make room at the dinner table, huh? Maybe. No, an actual sit at the table dinner? Did you use any of this wine for dinner? No. <laughs> I'm drinking it. What's that? This is the sauce. I need another spoon. <laughs> That's it, really? What? I'm... <laughs> What's in this list? Uh, mint and dill and lime. Oh, is this what you wanted the carrot tops for? Yes. Taste it. Yes. I thought I didn't need any more salt because there's salt in there. Are you there. done with this? Yes. Every spoon for one meal! <laughs> what do we need spoons to eat dinner with? To get two things off my plate. I guess. <laughs> okay. So that dish is done. You take a picture. There's the picture finally for Tiger. Okay. And I can pull my. Pull my. Where, I keep losing my oven mitts. I keep putting them away. <laughs> Good. We're good. Our lovely lamby chops. Deliciousness. And now I get to find my container so I can make my trifle. Where's that one glass bowl? <laughs> There's a lot of glass bowls. That one like patterny one? You know what, maybe I'll just make it in the fucking Pyrex, so it'll store in the fridge easy. Fuck it. This is now my trifle container, because then it will store nicely in the fridge. Because I don't need to be fancy. That's not what I'm here for. I'm gonna turn off my oven. You still have a waffle in the freezer, you know. I should have that. I had 3 a.m. fajitas. You had 3 a.m. fajitas, folks. I gotta find a place for this. Okay. My husband can have dinner. No worries at all, Lily. Yeah, absolutely take care of yourselves if you came when if you came in with the Featherfall Raid. Take care of yourselves, whoever you are. Um, we really appreciate you stopping by. I am cruising on to heckin' 800 followers. I don't know how that happened. Um, but thank you all so much. The support tonight has been wild and unexpected and <laughs> um, getting me emotional. But I'm going to make some trifle. With some delicious, like, bits of cake. Oh, yes. Push the bowl forward. Oh, and I actually have a, I have a note on my phone with how to build this. Hopefully, 
It's fine. Hold on. I need to get my note up. My lovely note. On how to build my cake. Although I don't have any ganache, so I might just be using... Uh, they made the ganache into the mousse, so I might just be using mousse twice. Which is, which is fine. Maybe I'll use the pastry cream twice, so it's not like doubled up. Okay, what am I doing? Jam. Jam is what I'm doing. More spoons. Every spoon. Okay. So we top just with a nice little layer of jam. And you can absolutely use a fancier bowl if you have one, but this is this is what's happening tonight. Because then I don't have to transfer it into something else to store it. Okay. Creme patisserie. Is this one? Okay, and then another layer of cake. It's a very lovely, fudgy cake. If you like brownies, you probably like this cake. your hands every heckin layer because you gotta lick off your fingers. Use the rest of my jam. Which is lovely because that was in the fridge and that's gonna be the place where this whole thing goes now. And then our mousse, which needs more setting time, but that's all right. Could put some gelatin in this. <laughs> that good for now because this is gonna need to set before I put anything else on it <laughs> I'm gonna put this cake back in the freezer because <laughs> it needs to also get colder so a science streamer can call it fake stuff quelling Quaker my 
goodness. I really just want to eat that cake, because that cake is so good. But here's... I mean, here's the trifle for now. And if you haven't seen a trifle, it's just layers of, of cake and creamy stuff. And just overall deliciousness. And I have no idea who's going to eat this all, because it is a heck ton of dessert. But I'm going to let that set up. And find someone to raid. So we can sit down to have some dinner. <laughs> Y'all. You are wild. Hold on, I'm going to go to the other computer to find out who is online. That was online. I'm, I'm feeling a whiz energy tonight. Not this time. What's what's next time? Okay, let's go raid whiz. Y'all, you're gonna have to come over and get some dessert because there is so much of it. My goodness, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for the raid featherfall um y'all go follow featherfall that is where i play uh right now it's D, D on uh wednesday nights but we'll see what what's going on with the uh what's the coast nonsense and if we're gonna play a different system coming up soon whatever it is it's a heck ton of fun it's a real good time um a lot of, a lot of penis for um <laughs> A lot of penis jokes. Anyway, um, very suggestive, 18 plus. Um, but thank you so much for the bits and the subs, CZ and Arcade and Stirring and Catchy and everyone. I really can appreciate it. I'm so glad that you had a good time here tonight. Let's go get ready to show Wiz some love. Wiz is a friend in Colorado, a stinky keen who is playing some Mario Kaiser right now. Um, so, oh, I should, uh, do that, shouldn't I? Haha, <laughs> good streamer. Um, and I really wish I had a stream ending thing, but whatever. I hope what, you have a great rest of your night. Um, make stuff, tag me. I love you all. Good night. <laughs>